This video is on the MakerBlot View drop-down menu. The first five choices uh, we've already seen in our toolbar icons. That includes the configuration, messages, values, log debug immediate window, and our data player. Once again, all of these choices duplicate what's really right here. This is the configuration icon. This is the one for values. This is the one for message boxes log debug immediate window and the player icon. So clicking on either one of the toolbar menus or the drop down menu will get you the same thing. Now before we go into the other parts of the view menu, let's bring up some plotting. Let's click on our plot icon, our connect. And we're going to start some plotting here. And we're going to be plotting 10 channels of analog sine wave data and 8 channels of uh, digital data. We can go to the View menu, and let's say we wanted to turn off our digital data. We're going to skip Display Grid for a second. Let's say we wanted to turn off our digital data. We just simply click on that, and now our digital data is gone. We can click the Reset, and we can see that we're plotting only analog data at this time. So once again, we can turn our digital data on and off. Now let's turn digital data on again. Okay, there it is rechecked. Let's uh, take off our analog data. So we'll uncheck that and now we only have digital data being plotted. So this is a good way to turn various things on and off, in this case the analog and digital data. Let's go over here and turn both of them off. I just turn that off and now while data is really coming into Makerplot, we're not seeing any of it. We've done that for a reason. Because what we want to do here is we want to click on another choice, which is Display Grid. And if we turn that off, all we get are the scales. This may have some functionality to you. If you want to eliminate the grid, you can come back here to the View menu, turn on Analog Data, and there's our analog data being plotted, but without a grid. So if you wanted to just capture a screen image, for example, of raw analog data, Without the grid in the way, this is the way to do it. We can also check or uncheck display drawings, display scales. For example, check, uncheck display scales. Now, there are, our scales are gone as well as our grid is gone. And so all we see here are our analog data plots. Unchecking analog data again, nothing is there. Let's go to digital data. And now we see our digital data without the benefit of any scales or grid lines. We can play or not play WAV files. And these are the files that uh, set alarms. And WAV files are also used when you click a button. You can uncheck that if you want to remain silent. The other choices here are the advanced ones. We won't get into them too much. But in Makerplot, we have two basic plotting pages, page 0 and page 1. Right now, you're looking at page 0. And throughout the Makerplot series of interfaces, uh, including the no-frills plot that you're looking at now, page 0 is normally the, the default page. Page 1 is some another page that you can flip over to draw on it and then flip over to it. And you can also come down here and clear page 0 or clear page 1. Now there are three other choices in our advanced tab. And that is show toolbar, show menus, and show status and scale select. And we have the ability to turn each one of them off. So let's start doing that. Notice, of course, that we always have these toolbars up here, no matter what we're doing in terms of our plot. And in some cases, maybe you want to get rid of them just for clarity's sake. This is how to do it. And here's how to do it. Again, come to the advanced part. Let's turn off the toolbars to begin with. So we'll just unclick that. Now our toolbars are gone away. OK, all we have left is our menus and our status areas. We can come down here and unclick Show Status and Scale Select. Now that's gone. And finally, we can come up here to the View menu, 
come to the advanced part. Now when I unclick show menus, they will be gone. So let's see that. Okay, show menus are gone. Once you've used the menu selects, as I've just done now, they are gone. And you can now recover them by doing the same functions in our Makerplot code. Take a look at the Makerplot guide and documentation. And also take a look at some of the Maker video series that go into this particular application. So there we have it. Now we have a very clean interface and we've removed all the things at the top and we can proceed from here.